Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to show you how you can install, you can set up TikTok, you can set up Snapchat, Snapchat Pixel and install it on your website. For In this video, I'm going to be using a WordPress website to show you how you can set this up. And we are not going to be using Google Tag Manager. I'm going to be show you. I'm going to show you a different way to do this, basically. So if you have a Snapchat ad account, this is how your Snapchat ad account will look like. Go to your Snapchat ad account. Go to ask.snapchat.com. And if you don't have any ad account, set up your ad account. That's the first thing you need to do. Once you set up your ad account. If you have any ads running, you will see all your ads here. But if, if this is a fresh account like this demo account I created for the sake of this video, you will see something like this. Ask Snapchat asking you what is your advertising goal? Is it web visits? Is it call and text, app install, and app visit? So how can you set up a Snapchat pixel on your website? Pixel is essential across all platforms like Facebook, TikTok, or Snapchat for you to track the activities of people on your website or your app and able to set up custom events and set up conversion tracking. The first step you need to do on this platform is to set, is to install their pixel on your website. So I have videos on how you can set up TikTok pixel on your website. I have the one for Facebook. If you want to watch that, I will link the video down. I will link the, the videos below. So what you need to do, the first thing you need to do is to come to this place, come to this drop down. You see create ads, manage ads, success stories. You see asset, creative, analyze, developer, develop business. So all you need to do this is where you add your billing, your business dashboard, your ad account, and all. So first thing, if you want to set up a pixel, you go to Events Manager. That's what you need to do. If you go to Events Manager, you see create your pixel or connect an app to get started. Keep track of customer interaction, like I said earlier, and conversion that happen on your website or your app. This information can be used to optimize your campaign or create custom audience, look alike audience to use in your ad, ad campaign. I They just portray what I explained earlier. It's still the same thing with what I just explained. So the next thing you do is to click on new event source. Then you select websites. We are not working with app. We are not working, working with offline. So make sure you select websites. Then you click on next. Once you click on next, let's say, let's give our pixel a name. Give your pixel a name, click on conversion, click on confirm once you give it a name. So all we need to do, so you can skip this. Let's skip this and you see, you see, once you click on skip this, you see event management setup. And So you see partner integration set up event. If you choose partner integration, so choose how you would like to connect your website so you can start sending web events. So you see partner integration, you see pixel setup too. And if you are using partner integration, you are using platforms like Google Tag Manager or, or Shopify. So for the sake of this video, let's do this. You click on manual setup. Once you click on manual setup, you click on next. Then you come to this place. Click on this. Next, give your pixel a name. Let's give our pixel a name. Click on confirm, then pop in your website. Let's put in your website. These are our websites that we are using for this video. Then you click on confirm.
I just give it few seconds. Oh, so you click on this. Click on set pixel setup to and select next. Come to select events. Let's say all events. This is the code you need. This is the pixel code you need. Once you select all your events here, once you select all your events that you want, if you want to track purchase, start checkout, let's say you want to start, you want to track start checkout. The next thing you need to do is to go to base code. This is the code you need. So let's say we are on base code now. You have selected all the events you want to track. So this place you see select and manage the events you want to track on your website. You see. Copy base code. The pixel code is a snippet of JavaScript that is added to the header section of your website. After installing the code, the, the base code, you can use our pixel setup tool, which is the pixel upper. I'm going to get there. Then, so all you need to do now is to copy this code and put this code on your website. So how are you going to do that? Let me walk you through how you do that now. So let's go back, let's go to our websites and go to the back end of your website now. Select, go to plugins. Once you log into the back end of your website, go to plugins. So we are going to use a plugin. So go click add new plugin all in all this is the code we need this is the pixel code that we need right now to put on our website for us to set this up so once you go to add new plugin click on h search for hfcm that is the name of the plugin we want to use so this is the name of the plugin Ada footer code manager so you click on install now. Once you click on install now, then you activate the, the plugin. Once you activate the plugin, reload your website again for us to see the plugin. Then you scroll down, you see HFCM. This is the plugin we just installed. Click on this plugin. And you see add new. See, see add new. Click on add new. Add new is basically you want to add new snippets. So this is this this is so the snippet name is the name of the code you want to inject on your website. So you just give it Snapchat. Let's give it Snapchat Pixel. Snapchat Pixel. So if you come to snippet type, you see HTML, leave it as HTML display. Let it display on site wide because we want all the pixel, we want the pixels to be on all pages on our website. Leave this exclude pages blank, exclude posts, leave it blank. And location. If you read that, if you read the description here, the instruction is the code, the Pixel code is a snippet JavaScript that is added to the header section of your website. So leave it to be, the location should be the header section of your website. Device display, show on all device. If you want it to show on desktop alone, which is not advisable, so don't select anything here. Leave it as show on all device and leave this status as active. You want this pixel to be active on your website. So you come to your website, yeah, then you come to Snapchat back, Copy this code and paste this code on your website. It's Snapchat pixel code. The next thing you do is to just click on save.
once you click on save, with that, you have been able to install TikTok Pixel on, you have been able to install Snapchat Pixel on your website successfully. So you come back here and click on, you don't need this, you don't need all these ones. So you come back here and click on this, you click on this. So put in your, let's say they want, you just follow this prompt, which is not needed though. I just want to show you, I just want us to leave this place. So the next thing you just put in your website here is not needed though. So the next thing you need to do is to click on next. So let's, they say we should check it. But there are other ways for you. So we with that, we have been able to install Snapchat pixel on our website successfully. So how can you check if the Snapchat pixel you installed on your website is working well and it's installed properly? What you need to do is to go to your, go to a new tab on your website, on your Chrome browser, type Snapchat pixel here. I already have the Snapchat pixel on my own Chrome browser and this is it here. So you see, you see Snapchat Pixel Helper. So click on this Snapchat Pixel Helper and add it. Just click on this. Click on it. I already have it on my website, so I'm on my Chrome browser. So I'm not going to I'm not going to install it. So just search Snapchat Pixel Helper and select it and add it to your Chrome browser. Once you add it to your Chrome browser, you have it, you see it this way on your on your Chrome browser. So let's come to our website and open this website. Let's say we open this website. So can you see that it's telling us now that installed correctly. Our pixel is installed on this website correctly, but we still want to use, it's already, it has already confirmed to us that it is installed correctly. So let's click on next. Then before you can now set up your events, we, we are not setting up any events in this video. So let's now open our website. So can you see that we have a pixel detected, one pixel ID detected. So can you see that our pixel, we've been able to successfully install a pixel, Snapchat pixel successfully on our website. If you have any question or you are struggling with anything in this video, just drop your comments below. I'm going to provide answers to any questions you have. If you are yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I will encourage you to do that. Like this video, share this video, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.